Hello friends, welcome to Nanava's Kitchen. Today on the menu, we're making homemade sardines just like my mom made them back when we were little. I was recently grocery shopping to stock up on some produce and some seafood and there it was. Fresh herrings, which we don't find out here very often, so I was excited and all I could think of was my mom's homemade sardines. Fork tender, delicious, juicy, just like that. So here are our herrings. I have already scaled them, but the scales lay on it that way. And to remove them, you just get your knife and use the blunt side to just remove them, just like that. And also you want to gut it, so you want to cut the belly area open and remove the contents, and then remove the fins as well. Now we're going to debone the fish, just like my mom did it. Now to do that, you want to cut the head area without cutting through the bone. So when you meet that resistance in the spine area, you want to stop cutting because you don't want to cut the head off completely. You want to do the same thing for the tail. So what you're doing is you're cutting through the flesh but not through the bone. Now when you're done with that, you're going to press down along the length of the fish and it gets messy, but don't worry, we can always clean it up. You press down, releasing the flesh of the fish from the spine, making it ready to just remove that spine and that bone out. So you're going to locate the spine right underneath the head of the fish and just hold the fish taut and pull. There you have it. Your fish is deboned without filleting it. And this right here, this bone and the head, we're going to use as fish stock so you don't get rid of that. There you have it. Wash up and there you go. Everything is ready. It's nice and hollow on the inside. You can stuff it with whatever you want. And we are ready now to make some homemade sardines. So we're using very simple ingredients here we want the fish flavor to stand out so I have some dry ginger parsley also dry and then I have some dry garlic just pour those on and then I have black pepper and white pepper all crushed put those on as well and then we're going to pour some extra virgin olive oil on it now we want to season first, and that's to your taste. So get some salt on there as well. And then pour your oil on top of it. We're going to massage these flavors into the fish and let it sit for just 15 minutes before we cook. Now today I'm going to be using my pressure cooker to cook this, because we want to hurry up and get this done. Now I just pour some onions sliced thinly onto the bottom of the pressure cooker as well as some bell peppers. And I'm using the red one today, I want some sweetness. I just added some bay leaf, two small ones, and then also a habanero chili for a slight kick. And then I lay the fish on the bed of vegetables and aromatics. Now what I'm doing is slightly overlapping them and also covering all the, uh, the vegetables I have on the bottom. So you wanna use it as a bed, so you wanna cover it entirely with the fish. And then rinse your marinating bowl and add the water. Now pour a little more olive oil on there. We all know sardines have a lot of oil. That's how you preserve it, and that juice right there is what's going to cook the sardines up. Cover your pressure cooker. Now, what you want to do is to shut off the steam. So you don't want the steam to come out, you want to trap it. All right, do that. So know your pressure cooker, and make sure that you trap that steam. And set it on medium heat and cook for 30 minutes. And after 30 minutes, release that pressure and you hear it and once it's completely released it's safe to open your pressure cooker and you have homemade sardines which are absolutely delicious a little sweetness from the onions and from the bell peppers mm, heavenly 
you ought to try this recipe. If you live in Ghana especially, I know that um, herrings are very popular and also very common. They're all over the place in Ghana. Get yourself some herrings. Make your own homemade sardines. I guarantee you it's much better tasting than the canned one. And you can introduce any flavor you want in there. I thank you so much for watching. And yes, I served it with some rice. Make it a great day and have fun, especially in that kitchen.